me again. Sorry it's been a while, but the biggest news is that Frankie's famous brother Will has just turned up out of the blue. And he's just how I imagined him. He's kind and good-natured and he tells the funniest stories. I just didn't expect him to be so tall. But I see a lot of his sister in him. And he's just so confident, I think it's brushing off on Frankie. I've never seen her so happy or full of pride. I'm really happy for her. What with her and Henry getting so close. And it's really nice for her brother to be here for her 21st birthday. And I guess it's good for the first time, well at least since January, that she's gotten some love and attention. She deserves it. I just wish that Will never had to go back. <sighs> so, what else is happening? Well, Ed and I... Sorry, have you got a minute? Yeah, sure, sure, take a seat. What's up? I'm going to New York. When? In about an hour. Henry, you're, you're joking. We have a meeting tomorrow. No, sorry, sorry. May I ask what the occasion is? Yeah, my, um, my uni mate Jamie is having a, a, sh a gallery showing of his artwork. He's invited me to the opening. So, a party. Mm. God, Henry, you've looked like a sad puppy all week. The Mansfield project is a success. The Antigua is almost practically in the bag. Uncle Grant has been really happy with our work. We're almost guaranteed promotions when we go back to London, which is in a few weeks. I would have thought you'd be beside yourself. It's just... It's just what? <sighs> Frankie. Frankie? Well, Henry, I can't help you if you don't say anything. Okay, just... <clears throat> just don't take the piss. I won't, I promise. I can't... I can't get her out of my head. This summer has been agonising. I know this started off as a joke, but I think the joke's on me. I just don't feel like myself anymore. I feel like Mansfield's finally gotten to me. You really like her, don't you? I think about her every day and every night. I know... I just constantly think of ways that I can tell her that I'm not tricking her. And I just want to tell her that she's the most interesting woman that I've ever met. Wow, I never thought I'd see the day. Henry Crawford has finally fallen for a girl. This is serious. I just... I don't feel like myself anymore. That's why I need to get away to... for me to feel like I was before. <sighs> Fine. Go on then. Go get drunk on duty-free booze, fly thousands of miles away, and try and forget about her. Although, somehow, I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, I'd better go, because the taxi's waiting, but could you do something for me, Mer? Sure. Could you give her these for her birthday? Wouldn't it be better if you gave them to her yourself? No, I don't think so. She doesn't trust me. She's got every right not to trust me. I've been a right bastard, but... But I'd like her to have these. And if she doesn't accept them, then I'll know where I stand. I'll back off. But... But maybe... <sighs> wow. <sighs> You've got it bad. <laughs> but look, what, what girl doesn't accept a present just because the guy used to be an asshole? Okay. I will give them to Frankie, and I can promise you that she will not only accept them, but she will wear them. She likes you too. She doesn't show it, but I can tell. Look, if she didn't like you, she wouldn't spend hours sitting with you talking about films and looking at your cartoons. It's good to get things off my chest, you know. You know I'm not very good at this. But, you know, when I get back, I'll know what I have to do. Go on, you sentimental loser. <laughs> God, who would have thought it? Henry Crawford in trouble over a girl. This is so unlike him. He's never had problems before and he's especially never come to me for help and to talk to a girl for him. This is a huge deal. <laughs> the taming of the douche.